Howdy champs, my name is Mohit and uh, people today I'm going to show you how to make a horizontal scroller uh, like the one that you see right now on the screen um, without using action script at all so here we see that the, we've actually used three pictures first, second, third and uh, at a given point of time people only two pictures are actually shown on the stage the stage is only big enough to accommodate two pictures not the third one so what happens here is pictures come from the right the leave uh, the exit from the, the left hand side and again the same set of pictures actually start appearing from the uh, right hand side so we'll see how this can be actually accomplished through uh, uh, you know with flash but without action script 3 that's the good news and no action script uh, isn't uh, well digested absorbed by most of you people out there so keeping in accordance with simplicity uh, I'll show you how this is actually done right so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you uh, this thing in a new separate file so file new okay people let me tell you the three pictures that I'm gonna use are 500 uh, 256 in height and 256 in width so let me set the stage height to 256 but as I said I would want two pictures to show up at a given point of time so the width should be 512 so that's 512 let me say okay right now I need to get the three pictures in so file import import to the stage uh, let me select the three pictures using the shift key hit open and let me start aligning it okay <coughs> so the first picture goes at x0 and let me tab and say y0 okay the second picture goes at x256 remember the width is 256 but y remains 0 the third picture goes at x 512 but the x you know the y remains at 0 cool next people what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say edit I'm gonna say uh, select all right and then I'm gonna say control G to group it up you can see out here in the properties pane I've grouped it okay and then I'm gonna say control C to copy the group and I'm gonna say control V to paste it so you know one set has been pasted on top of the other and as far as the second set is concerned okay which is 768 which is 256 into 3 I'm gonna place it at x768 right so what I've actually done is uh, I've placed one set of pic three pictures uh, and the second set of three pictures uh, adjacent to each other rubbing shoulders perfectly all right so there are, these are two groups okay uh, again I'm gonna say edit control a or select all, all right that will select all the six pictures okay set of two and then I'm gonna locate the 400th frame mm, there it is <coughs> I'm gonna right click I'm gonna say insert keyframe okay have a look out here that the frames for uh, second is set to 24 which is the default so you don't have to actually alter anything at all and then uh, I'm gonna make sure see let me say control a uh, once again edit select all or control a and this time I'm gonna make sure that it's uh, the x is set to minus 768 I'll tell you what I'm doing when I do that let me zoom out let me explain it uh, better see when I set the x for all these uh, six pictures or a set of you know this, uh, these are two sets set one and set two set left and set right uh, once I set it to 768 the first set of three pictures is thrown out of the stage in the sense uh, it was on the stage see on frame number one let me go to frame number one see this is frame number one on uh, you know on frame number one these three pictures uh, to be exact these two pictures were on the stage the third picture was out so and now what I've done is I have gone to the 400th frame all right and I made sure the the first set is actually out of the stage uh, from the left hand side but the second set of pictures is on the stage and as I said to be exact only two pictures actually are on the stage the third picture is always out of the stage right so I'm um, I've set it to minus 768 this 768 uh, figure comes from multiplying 256 into 3 256 the width of one single picture people right so once I do that all I need to do is 
It's pretty simple. I can click anywhere between the first and the last frame, the first and the 400 frame. I can right click and I can say create classic tween and I'm actually sorted. See, if I scrub, if I scrub the playhead like this, you can see that uh, the horizontal scroller is ready and we can be sure by hitting control enter to test the movie. So you can see at any given point of time, uh, strictly speaking, only two pictures show up properly. The third picture is always cut, cut off. Right, so uh, you'll you'll see that uh, the pictures appear from the right hand side, leave from the left hand side, and they come back again from the right hand side, and this goes on and on and on uh, in an endless loop that never ends. So people, it's that simple. But as I said, only if you know it. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I hope to see you very soon with yet another Flash and Action Script three tutorial, people. Uh, comment uh, if you want to you know give it a thumbs up do so if you want to sub do so right you have a good day guys bye bye peace